Ventures in Education is a business that I own. I, I started it because I wanted to put all the things that I did together. I do piano lessons, I do voice lessons, I also do uh, theater groups, and I go to different places and do camps and classes, and I do a lot of summer camps. Um, and I decided to call it something that was related to each other, so I named it Adventures in Education. Now what do you say? I really like kids a lot, and I didn't end up going to school and finishing with a bachelor's degree. I just have a two-year degree from Owens. And so I really wanted to do all the things I could have done had I been a teacher at a public school. And so I do musicals, and the teachers at public schools do that. I do the music, the piano, and I just kind of um, made up my own job. And I go um, to different places. I do go to different schools, and um, then I started the theater thing in 2006. And I started going to a church where we rent the church. And then we put on a play at the end of eight weeks of practice. The play is about a princess who um, is found at the castle and everybody thinks that she's there for these princess tests that the king and the queen um, have made up so they can find a wife for their, um, for their son, the prince. And she ends up passing all the tests and so she becomes the wife of the prince and they live happily ever after. I actually started um, doing Miss Lang's plays in fifth grade, which was one year ago, last year, um, and I've been doing it ever since. Let's try Yolanda. I started when I think I was eight, um, and now I'm nine. I've done Little Red Riding, with her, Riding Hood with her, Broadway Magic, Jungle Book, I got the lead, and this is my, I don't know, fifth or fourth one. Our story, this is the end of our show. I can be very dramatic at home and it makes me really good in theater. I'm good at memorizing lines and I'm barely absent. It's pretty nice because I enjoy getting new friends. None of them are mean or anything. We interact a lot. We work together to make this thing go on. It's nice because at my school, there aren't many third graders that are really interested in music or entertainment or musicals. And when I come here, it's good to see some of my old friends are back. Miss Ling's place, she actually um, doesn't buy them. She actually makes them herself or adapts them from, some, um, from someone else. So I think that's really cool that she makes her own. This program is pretty unique because we only do it once a week. So unlike the other kind of programs that they do at like Waterville and the rep and that, we don't practice every day of the week before a show or anything. We only practice once a week. So obviously the show is not gonna be terrific. Um, sometimes it comes out pretty good, but not always. Uh, but my goal is to help the kids grow and become confident. And I've seen a lot of kids become more confident as they performed. And even their teachers will say that they raise their hand more at school. They're not shy like they used to be. Some kids get to be totally the opposite of shy by, by the time they've done a few shows. And I really like to work with the kids and just see how they're you know, changing and becoming more confident and just um, you know, learning their lines better and just, just from beginning to end. And Some kids I've had in maybe 10 shows and the change from when they first started till now is pretty amazing. 